On this flyover, we're continuing our flight to the end of the lake on the west side of the bridge on the south side of the lake. So we looked at the crossover cut here. This is back towards the uh, bridge, the main lake. And now we're going to fly up the south bank and check out all of the flooded cover on the new Bodark Lake in Bonham, Texas. If you haven't joined me on the flyovers, I have a whole series in the playlist. You can check them out. Um, basically, I've flown the whole lake. There's an opening a hole there. It's pretty cool. Looks like you could get to that too. This lake is going to be really fun to fish next spring. But here's the cutover. There's a bunch of duckweed, man. This water is so beautiful and healthy. Uh, when it first opened, it was kind of muddy up on this west end, kind of a dirt mud. Now it's pretty clear. This looks like a little shallower flat here. All the dead trees are where the lake was flooded and then it flooded up more and that allowed them to open the lake. So that's why you have dead trees and then green trees. Those green trees are gonna drown and die Uh, and then become stumps eventually. But we're flying up the southwest side of the lake. There's a spider on me. One thing you're not gonna miss out here are spiders and snakes. So we've got a flat back there. It looks like you can, might be able to get to. Um, looks like definitely like an RV park or a housing development. Um, that's all coming. It's, won't take long. So they cut. There's the cut over from the boat lane. And then they clear cut the bank right here. Ooh, look at that. So all that, if you can get to that, which... You can probably sorry you're gonna have to keep up with me on this uh, we don't we got to do this kind of quick um, you could, there's a little lane right there you could probably get through to get to that opening and we're looking back now we're going back west sorry about the speed but we need to go ahead and get this done all right, now we're flying up the southwest bank heading towards the end of the lake. So you have a ton of flooded cover in here. Then this clear cut where they're putting a housing development. There's a bunch of good open water back there. If you can get to it, I haven't seen a way from the air yet. That's gonna be a good spot to fish in the spring because you'll be out of the south wind. Ooh, doggy, look at that. It's all flat. That's what you really wanna look for when you're looking for places to fish from the air. So that is really nice. I still have spiders crawling me from going through these trees. A lot of timber right there. But there's an opening there. That'll be a good spot to get to and fish in the spring. Bass fishermen will find a way, I promise you. All right, so we've got really thick cover. And here's some opening that's probably a little deeper. But there's a little route in. Um, yeah, right there from the lane. There's the cut over to the north side of the lake. 
again we are going to fly to the west end of the lake lots of timber there's some green timber in there which leads me to believe that that's kind of shallow there I'm not sure on that we're going up going up And there is a big expanse of territory on this west end. Lots of flooded timber. I'm flying a DJI Air 3 drone and they are really good drone if you ever think about getting into a drone it's kind of fun to fly these um, they have models at all different price points i'm gonna put a link in the description below if you are interested in getting into drones i highly ad ad advise this model um, it really has good reception there's some opening there. And the battery life is phenomenal. The last flyover we just did was eight minutes long. Now we're at 652 here. And we're not to the west side of the lake, so we're going to check out where we're at. We're seven minutes into this video. Then I'm going to drive my boat to this point right here over by the cutoff the cut over to the north banks it's right in your center of your screen there and we're going to fly up there and do the rest of the west end of the lake so here is the um, cut going back down the lake we're looking back towards the dam now and flying back such a beautiful afternoon for a flight This particular model of DJI has two lenses, so you can zoom. I'm zooming in as a one to three X zoom and then a three X to nine X zoom. So I'm flying back right now. There's the bridge. And the dam is right there now in your center screen, right there. And the bridge, the 897 facility, and there I am in the, uh, the yellow H, which means home. So I'm bringing this ship home right now. We've got 43 ticks left on this battery, but we need to get on back then move the boat up to get the rest of it. And that will get, that'll be about the whole lake on the Bodark Lake flyover series by Lance Vick. Here comes a boat flying by. All right, guys, we're going to get this ship landed. There goes a boat. 
pretty cool. And get this back to the boat. We're going to move up the lake and do the other video. This one's uh, looks like about 10 minutes, 30 seconds. Here she comes. We made it. See you on the next episode of Bodark Lake Flyover. Until then, big bass wishes.